We are starting and recording. Okay. Uh, good morning. It is Tuesday, November 19th, our meeting of Buildings and Facilities Committee. Um, when I call your name, please unmute yourself and let me know that you're here and that we can you can be see, I mean, we can hear you. Um George. Here. Pammy. Here. Sharon. Hello. Here. And I'm here. Um, so our first order of business is to approve the minutes of 917. Can someone move to approve the minutes? Motion to approve. Second. Uh, thank you. Any changes? No? Okay. Uh, George? Approved. Uh, approved. Tammy? Approved. Uh, Sharon? Well, and I approve. Okay. Um, <clears throat> next, public comment. It looks like we have three members of the public in the audience. Does anyone wish to make a comment? If you do, please raise your hand and we'll let you into the room. Nobody? Okay. Uh, all right. Let's move on. Uh, monthly buildings and grounds report, George. Um, so just a couple of things. Uh, we have a company here doing an archaeological dig uh, as part of the uh, the requirements by the Mass Historic Commission for the project. Um, he's going to be here for a few days. Um, as far as I know, he has not found anything of significance as of yet. Yeah. And any questions on that? Yeah. Can I just ask a quick question, uh, George? Mm -hmm. So what do they do? So do they just go around digging or do yeah, they, they do, have they sensors do, or something? Um, I, yeah, they're using... They're using sensors, but they're they're just, yeah they're just doing random digs um, mm -hmm. here and there to see if they come up with anything. Okay. So, and yeah, what but, could they come up with if they come up with anything? Um, they're they're basically looking for any kind of historic artifact that um, may have found itself buried on the property, you know, throughout okay. the years. Or bones. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's hope not that. Um, <laughs> Given and we, given that much of the property was was dug up during the '90s renovation, I I doubt that they will find anything. But I know that they're focusing uh, mostly on the side where the uh, where the strong house is. Okay. So. Okay. Thank you. Um. Also, uh, just an FYI, we <laughs> just had some elevator work done. Uh, there was a a new state mandate that came into place within the last couple of years. It's called the FS90 and it's a, it's part of the fire protection system. It's uh, upgrading a switch so that the, the, the elevator door opens a certain way when they press the button and that it recloses. Um, it's something that pretty much ele every elevator in town had to comply with um, given that the mandate was going to become a requirement we just had that upgrade done so our elevators are in compliance we're just waiting for the state retest um okay. it was it had nothing to do with elevator uh with the elevators being safe or not safe it was just a new state code that uh massachusetts put in place that we had to comply with okay and we didn't have to close the building or we didn't have to otherwise we no wouldn't. we didn't have to they did one they they did it in two days they did one elevator one day and they did the work early in the morning so it didn't really affect library services so okay so yeah it was it was pretty pretty seamless okay um the only other well two things the heat is on and everything is working at this point so um some people are very toasty warm and some are even more toasty warm, so, uh, but all the equipment is operating. We didn't come up with any big issues at the changeover. Okay. Um, and the only other thing I wanted to add, uh, I spoke with Sharon and Sharon contacted the owners of the CVS property uh, just because the 
the amount of graffiti on the CVS building has been amping up quite a bit and the, the walls are pretty covered. And we just wanted to make sure that the owners of the CVS property were aware of it. Uh, we weren't asking them to necessarily do something about it. We just wanted to make sure that they were aware that because the owners of that property are in Florida, I believe. Uh, mm -hmm. So that we just wanted to make sure that they knew about it. Uh, are there cameras anywhere? Nothing that nothing yeah. that really shows the CVS building. This time of year, you might be able to get a portion of it off the one camera that faces mm -hmm. the garden area. Um, but at nighttime, it's just not very well lit. And okay. you, you really wouldn't see anything going on, unfortunately. And I think that is all I have. Okay. Um, let me see if I had any questions. Elevator. Eight. Um, I don't think I have. Is the van okay? Well, that's oh, the van's not... wonderful. Yeah. Well, the van's <laughs> yes, okay. yeah, the okay. van is wonderful, and I believe I reported the last time that the old one, uh, the new owners did pick it up, and the town has all the proper paperwork for deaccession and everything. So that is a, that is a closed case. Okay. Oh, I did have one question. I think it was big. Oh, anything? Um. Any updates on the vaping in the basement? Is it still ongoing? Yeah, it, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's the same. It hasn't changed. Okay, uh, so there's no way around that. No, um, no. We have signs because, up all over. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say teens or... Young adults are intimidating. The other day I went down to get a, a, a book way in the back and there was a bunch of them standing there, I mean, sitting around and I was just like, okay, I need to get my stuff and leave because, <laughs> yeah. oh, well. Okay, so hopefully down the road, sight lines will improve and can do something about that. Um, okay, Tammy, did you have any questions? No, I'm too busy writing the minutes. Okay. <laughs> thank you. I forgot to add, Tammy, thank you for the minutes. They're yeah. very, very clear. I now have to do two sets of minutes. So I'm um, <laughs> uh, laughing about it so I don't uh, cry. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Please don't cry. <laughs> Wasn't that a song? Please. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Backup building project planning. <clears throat> so, you know, you know, I left this on the agenda, but um, honestly, I, so A, there's nothing to report. And B, I don't think we need to include it on the agenda anymore. Yeah. Um, I, you know, yeah. Uh, the town sent out a request for JCPC requests, you know, to start um, for the, the FY26 season and we're not allowed to request anything. So, um, so we won't be submitting anything and, um, and our, our building project is moving forward. So um, this is pretty awesome sauce. Anyways, that yeah. those are my comments. Um, do we want to quickly touch base on where we are with the 106? Because the project does kind of hinge on that, right? Yeah, we'll talk about that tonight. It's tonight at the building. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. All right, so nothing on that. Uh, branch restrooms. What's happening with the restrooms? Oh, I, so nothing's happening. I just wanted you to know that there was a request submitted to uh, the town for gender neutral restrooms, specifically at the Munson, and okay. um, and Jeremiah looked at it um, along with uh, Pamela Nolan Young, you know, the DEI uh, staff, and. Um, it, it as as you all know it's not as simple as just putting a new sign um there are there are building codes and and costs to all of that and so i just wanted you to know that the request ha had been submitted and and i don't i don't know where the request is going to go um i haven't it, it, i only got a note from pamela so um okay um that's all I want to say. I have two questions. One is, so it, the request went to the town. So would the town pay for that? Yeah. 
Yeah. And, you know, and they had talked about instead of just doing the Munson, do, do, do they do, you know, should this be a town wide uh, town building wide initiative um, that Jeremiah take on. Is there a separate men's room at Munson? Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's and a so they would have. Room. Yeah, they'd it have to put like... in new fixtures, and uh, the door would have to be updated, and and things so they like would that. make both the men's and the women's rooms gender neutral. Right. That's okay. what. That's what the ask was. Who asked and for this? uh i i'm not sure okay just a and, request okay sorry tammy and would it have to go through if if that went through would the town have to go to jcpc for money or where how would that work or I would, is I would think so george would know more about the process than i would yeah i mean it um just visualizing the the, the bathrooms as they are, I would think that it would be enough of an expense that it would go, have to go through JCPC. Um, okay. Because as Sharon said, it's it's not just about putting signs up. The the, the fixtures would have to be changed and reconfigured. And, um, you know, I would assume that they are up to code as far as accessibility goes, but um, I'm sure that there would be some other improvements they would want to make if they were going to make it a make it a JCPC project. Okay. And um does the North Amherst Library have a um gender neutral bathroom? I'm not sure. I'm looking at George. I don't know. I honestly I'm not sure myself. There are two restrooms. I do not know how they are labeled. Um mm -hmm. given that those are not under our purview because it's a town building, I I honestly couldn't answer that. There there okay. are two restrooms. Mm -hmm. I do not know if they are both gender neutral or not okay i would like to think they are but i mm -hmm. again that project right. wasn't under our purview right okay thank you um i guess okay any topics not anticipated 48 hours in advance no so nothing okay I guess we can adjourn. I love fast meetings, and Tammy yeah, does too. too. <laughs> well, well they, they're fast. That doesn't mean that the minutes are short, but right. I, I will do the best I can. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. Um, so I will see you, except for Tammy, at five o'clock. No, I, I, I listen in. Yeah. Well, um, let's, we'll see you in the audience, Tammy. Yes, I'll be in the audience. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you all. So much. Have Bye. a good Thank day. You. Bye. Thank you. Take care. Have a good day.